Hey guys, this is Miss Raisner. How are y'all? Today is Monday, August 31st. I hope you had a great weekend and you're ready to learn this week. Um, we're going to have two different lessons today. The first one is going to be our reading lesson and the second one is going to be our spelling lesson. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the reading one. So I'm going to take you to a PowerPoint and I will add this. So our unit one is um, about networks. And the essential question is, how can a place affect how we live? So places like our smaller cities where you take a school bus to school, bigger cities, they may take um, an actual transit or a subway or something. So we'll get into that later more this week with our stories. All right, so you will read many texts to learn about what shapes the relationships between places and people. Reading a variety of genres is important because each text provides a unique perspective about the theme. Remember, a genre is a type of literature characterized by a specific form, content, and style. For example, you've got poetry, you've got drama, you've got fiction, you've got nonfiction. This gives you your five academic vocabulary words for this whole unit. Um, contribute means to donate or assist. My parents donate pet food to the pet shelter to contribute to its cause. Exposed means revealed or unprotected. We expose the baby foxes when we move some branches. Habit means usual or practice. As usual, I followed my habit of reading before I go to bed. Severe means harsh or serious. The harsh storm led to severe weather damage to the building. So I need to fix that spelling, don't I? I'll do that while I'm talking to y'all. Significant means important or relevant. The most significant character was the most important one in the story. So those are your five words for this entire unit. Your assignment for these words is to use the Microsoft Forms that will be under your assignments to create sentences using the unit's academic vocabulary words on page 13. Make sure you hit turn in when you are finished to get credit for the assignment. So you're going to go up to your Microsoft Teams, Miss Raisner's homeroom as you usually do, class notebook, It's spinning. <laughs> All right. And then here will be the page. Also, you should have the textbook at home. So it's your page 13. And then you're going to pull up the Microsoft form. And it's going to tell you the same five words. And you have to use them in a sentence, just like you would on the page. Okay. If you have any questions, email me. Y'all have been doing good with that. Or you can chat, and when I see it, I will answer it. Or you can post it on our class notebook, and I will answer you as soon as I can. Thanks. Have a good day.